Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Barrent Narrated by Andrew Originally published in 1921, this is a great audiobook production created for research, study, and discussion purposes. Chapter 13 The Reward of Increased Faith Your desire to be your best has expanded your faith into the faith of the universe which knows no failure and has brought you into conscious realization that you are not a victim of the universe, but a part of it. Consequently, you are able to recognize that there is that within yourself which is able to make conscious contact with the universal law and enables you to press all the particular laws of nature, whether visible or invisible, into serving your particular demand or desire. Thereby you find yourself master, not a slave, of any situation. Troward tells us that this mastering is to be accomplished by knowledge. And the only knowledge which will afford this purpose in all its measureless immensity is the knowledge of the personal element and universal spirit and its reciprocity to our own personality. In other words, the words you think, the personality you feel yourself to be, are all reproductions in miniature of God. Or specialized universal spirit. All your word thoughts were God word forms before they were yours. The words you use are the instruments, channels, through which the creative energy takes form. Naturally, this sensitive creative power can only reproduce in accordance with the instrument through which it passes. All disappointments and failures are the result of endeavoring to think one thing and produce another. This is just as impossible as it would be for an electric fan to be used for lighting purposes or for water to flow through a crooked pipe in a straight line. The water must take the shape of the pipe through which it flows. Even more truly this sensitive, invisible substance must reproduce outwardly the shape of the thought word through which it passes. This is the law of its nature, therefore, it logically follows, as a man thinks, so is he. Hence, when your thought or word form is in correspondence with the eternal constructive and forward movement of the universal law, then your mind is the mirror in which the infinite power and intelligence of the universe sees itself reproduced, and your individual life becomes one of harmony. For more audiobook like this, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new audiobook. Thanks for listening.